Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel where we explore the intricacies of human psychology. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the world of white-collar crime, and explore why people commit it. Let me start with a story. Have you heard of the infamous case of Bernie Madoff? He was once considered a Wall Street genius, who managed billions of dollars for his clients. But it turns out, he was running the largest Ponzi scheme in history, swindling people out of billions of dollars. In 2009, he was sentenced to 150 years in prison for his crimes. Madoff's case is just one example of the many instances of white-collar crime that happen every day. These are crimes committed by professionals in the business and financial sectors, such as embezzlement, insider trading, and fraud. But the question remains, why do people with everything going for them, successful careers, financial stability, and social status, choose to engage in criminal behavior? Studies have shown that the root cause of white-collar crime is often tied to the individual's personality and personal characteristics. For example, research has found that individuals with narcissistic and Machiavellian traits are more likely to engage in fraudulent behavior. They have an inflated sense of self-worth, lack empathy for others, and are willing to manipulate and exploit others for their own benefit. Additionally, white-collar criminals often have a strong desire for status and recognition, they want to be seen as successful and powerful, and are willing to take risks to achieve that. This can lead to them engaging in unethical or illegal behavior to meet their goals. But it's not just personal characteristics that drive white-collar crime. Environmental factors such as organizational culture and societal expectations can also play a role. For example, a culture that values profits over ethics can lead employees to engage in fraudulent behavior to meet their targets. Let's delve deeper into the research that supports the idea that personal characteristics and environmental factors play a crucial role in the prevalence of white-collar crime. Studies have found that individuals with certain personality traits are more likely to engage in fraudulent behavior. For example, a study published in the Journal of Financial Crime found that individuals with high levels of narcissism are more likely to engage in white-collar crime. Narcissistic individuals have an inflated sense of self-importance, and may believe that the rules do not apply to them. They may be more likely to engage in unethical or illegal behavior to gain recognition and admiration from others. Similarly, individuals with high levels of Machiavellianism are more likely to engage in fraudulent behavior. Machiavellian individuals are highly manipulative and are willing to exploit others for their own benefit. They may use deception and lies to achieve their goals, even if it means breaking the law. In addition to personal characteristics, environmental factors can also play a significant role in white-collar crime. A study published in the Journal of Financial Crime found that organizational culture can have a significant impact on the likelihood of fraudulent behavior among employees. In particular, organizations that prioritize profits over ethics are more likely to experience fraudulent behavior among employees. This can occur when employees feel pressure to meet financial targets, and may engage in fraudulent behavior to meet those targets. Moreover, societal expectations can also contribute to white-collar crime. For example, a study published in the Journal of Business Ethics found that societies that prioritize individualism and success over community and ethics are more likely to experience white-collar crime. In such societies, individuals may be more focused on achieving personal success and recognition, and may engage in unethical behavior to achieve their goals. Research supports the idea that white-collar crime is often tied to personal characteristics and environmental factors. Understanding these factors can help organizations and individuals take steps to prevent fraudulent behavior and promote ethics and transparency in the workplace. By prioritizing ethical behavior and creating a culture of transparency, we can reduce the likelihood of white-collar crime and promote a better workplace for everyone. But here's the thing. Not everyone with these traits or in these environments will turn to white-collar crime. It's a complex interplay between personal characteristics, environmental factors, and individual choices. The good news is that we can work to prevent white-collar crime by creating a culture of ethics and transparency. By promoting a culture that values honesty and integrity, we can reduce the likelihood of employees engaging in fraudulent behavior. Expanding on the topic of preventing white-collar crime, the motivational slide highlights the fact that not everyone with certain personal traits or in specific environments will turn to white-collar crime. 
Instead, it's a combination of personal characteristics, environmental factors, and individual choices that can lead someone to commit fraud. Research shows that personal characteristics such as narcissism, overconfidence, and risk-taking behavior can increase the likelihood of someone engaging in fraudulent behavior. However, these traits alone do not necessarily result in fraud. Environmental factors such as pressure to meet financial targets, weak internal controls, and a lack of ethical leadership can also contribute to white-collar crime. Therefore, it is important to create a culture of ethics and transparency to prevent fraud from occurring. Organizations can promote a culture that values honesty and integrity by setting a tone from the top. Leaders need to set a positive example by modeling ethical behavior themselves. This means being transparent, honest, and fair in all dealings with employees, customers, and other stakeholders. Providing ethical training. Organizations should provide regular training on ethics and compliance to all employees. This can help employees understand the importance of ethical behavior and the consequences of fraudulent actions. Encouraging whistleblowers. Whistleblowers play an essential role in uncovering fraudulent behavior. Therefore, organizations should provide a safe and anonymous reporting mechanism for employees to report unethical behavior. Conducting regular audits. Regular audits can help identify any potential fraud or misconduct within an organization. These audits should be conducted by an independent and objective third party. Creating a code of ethics. Organizations should develop a code of ethics that outlines the expected behavior of employees. This code should be regularly reviewed and updated to reflect changes in the business environment. By creating a culture of ethics and transparency, organizations can reduce the likelihood of fraudulent behavior and promote a positive work environment for employees. Research has shown that organizations that prioritize ethics and values have higher employee morale, lower turnover rates, and are less likely to experience legal issues. It's not just good for business, it's the right thing to do. Expanding on the research slide, it highlights the benefits of prioritizing ethics and values in organizations. The research shows that organizations that prioritize ethics and values have several advantages that can positively impact their bottom line, including higher employee morale. Employees are more likely to be satisfied and engaged when they feel their organization prioritizes ethics and values. This can lead to increased productivity, creativity, and loyalty. Lower turnover rates. Employees who are happy and engaged are less likely to leave their jobs. This can lead to lower turnover rates, which can save organizations time and money associated with hiring and training new employees. Reduced legal issues. Organizations that prioritize ethics and values are less likely to experience legal issues such as lawsuits, regulatory fines, and reputational damage. This can save organizations significant legal and financial costs. Moreover, Prioritizing ethics and values is not just good for business but also the right thing to do. Organizations have a responsibility to act ethically and in the best interests of their stakeholders, including customers, employees, and society as a whole. In addition to the benefits mentioned above, organizations that prioritize ethics and values can also benefit from Improved brand reputation Customers and stakeholders are more likely to trust and support organizations that act ethically and transparently. This can lead to increased brand loyalty and positive word-of-mouth marketing. Attracting top talent. Organizations that prioritize ethics and values are more likely to attract top talent who share those same values. This can help organizations build a diverse and talented workforce. Long-term sustainability. Prioritizing ethics and values can help organizations build a strong foundation for long-term success. By acting ethically and in the best interests of all stakeholders, organizations can build a sustainable business that benefits everyone involved. In summary, research shows that organizations that prioritize ethics and values can reap several benefits, including higher employee morale, lower turnover rates, and reduced legal issues. Moreover, Prioritizing ethics and values is the right thing to do and can help organizations build a sustainable business that benefits all stakeholders. So, what can we do as individuals to promote ethics and integrity in our workplaces? Here are a few tips. First, lead by example. Set a positive tone for the workplace by modeling ethical behavior yourself. 
Second, create an environment where employees feel comfortable reporting unethical behavior. Encourage open communication and provide a safe space for employees to share their concerns. Third, make ethics a part of the company culture. Incorporate ethics and values into the company's mission statement and training programs. Expanding on the topic of promoting ethics and integrity in the workplace, here are some additional suggestions and explanations for the tips mentioned in the motivational slide. Led by example. As a leader or a team member, it is crucial to set the tone for the workplace by modeling ethical behavior yourself. This means being honest, transparent, and fair in all your dealings with colleagues, clients, and stakeholders. For instance, avoid engaging in conflicts of interest, being truthful in your communication, and following the rules and regulations set by the company. Create an environment for reporting unethical behavior. Employees should feel comfortable reporting unethical behavior without fear of retaliation. This requires creating a safe space for employees to speak up and providing clear channels for reporting unethical behavior. Organizations can set up anonymous reporting systems, hotlines, or email addresses to make it easy for employees to report issues without fear of retribution. Make ethics a part of company culture. It is essential to integrate ethics and values into the company's culture, mission statement, and training programs. This involves communicating and reinforcing the company's values and ethical standards throughout the organization. For instance, the company can conduct regular training sessions on ethics and compliance to reinforce the importance of ethical behavior. Set ethical standards for suppliers and partners. Organizations can also extend their ethical standards to suppliers and partners. This means conducting due diligence on suppliers and partners to ensure they adhere to the same ethical standards as the organization. This can help avoid unethical behavior by third parties that can damage the organization's reputation. Celebrate ethical behavior. Finally, it is essential to celebrate and recognize ethical behavior by employees. Organizations can create reward programs or recognition programs to acknowledge employees who exhibit ethical behavior. This can help reinforce the importance of ethics and integrity in the workplace and encourage others to follow suit. In summary, promoting ethics and integrity in the workplace requires a concerted effort from individuals, leaders, and organizations. By following these tips, organizations can create a positive work culture that values ethics and integrity, and employees can contribute to a more ethical workplace. Conclusion Slide In conclusion, white-collar crime is a complex issue with no easy answers. It's often tied to an individual's personal characteristics and the environment in which they work. But by promoting a culture of ethics and transparency, we can reduce the likelihood of white-collar crime and create a better workplace for everyone. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the fascinating world of human psychology.